Hey peeps, Pixie Poison here coming at you with another vlog, the first vlog of 2019 for me. And as per Pixie, it is in the wake of MCM. You know this by now, peeps. I always bring out a vlog just after MCM. I can't resist. It's me in my happy place and I have things to share. And I've actually done things with my life. God, that sounds really, really sad, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's true. I don't I don't do an awful lot in my everyday life. I'm a sad, sad, lonely gamer, so I spend a lot of my time doing that. And, and when I'm not doing that, I'm working on cosplays for MCM, so it seems appropriate time to bring one out. But no, as well as MCM stuff, there is a lot of new things I can actually bring to your attention. As you can see, I am in, I am in a completely new location. Um, after what I mentioned in my little mini announcement video that I put video, I have moved house. I have moved in with a few of my old workmates and a couple of their friends who we went to school with, I think. Um, but we live together now in a great big house. This is this is my this is my hub, this is my home. This is my little hermit house. I'm in the attic as well, so you can probably just see there behind me is the actual rafters of the roof, which is very fun. Um, apologies if you hear any sounds of trains coming from outside. Our garden does border on the tube track, so eh. <laughs> also, peeps, I've just noticed, but I'm actually living for the blue and purple in this video. There is a lot of it, like everywhere. Like my bed sheets are blue and purple. My tablet that is on my bed over there is blue. My handbag is navy blue <laughs> down there. My dress is navy blue and purple, my flower, my lippy, mwah, is purple. Even this here, it looks black, it's not, it's navy blue. Hell, even the can of monster that I am drinking out of is purple. Slight obsession? Nah. Also in my new little hermit house, you probably noticed I am actually sat at a desk. Yes, this girl built a desk. As you can see, I made it all pretty, I have flowers on it and everything, I had a desk light, my Jack and Sally statue is in the corner, it's perfect. And guess what? I am finally the owner of a swivel chair. Whee! Little things amuse, you know. So, anyway, where was I? Yes, new things. So, what have I been up to? So, in the, in the run up to this MCM weekend, I've been working on my cosplays, so I've been working on Princess Estelia from Rayman Legends, which I will pop picture up here for you um that's been that's been a rocky road that really has it shouldn't have taken as long as it did but literally a month before mcm in fact less than a month less than a month before i fell at work and i busted my arm Re and i mean really busted it there was a dent like imagine the ridges of the grand canyon like that yeah that was in my arm Luckily, by some miracle, it wasn't broken, but it meant my arm was out of commission for three weeks. And it's my right arm. I'm right-handed. So, naturally, cosplay making was out of the question. I couldn't do anything like that for three weeks. Hell, I couldn't even game properly for three weeks. For those of you who are watching my channel, if you saw my Puzzle Agent video, I was using a mouse with my left hand. That was funny. I was literally reaching across. My mouse is over here, by the way. I was reaching across and doing this. This is how I looked while I was doing that video, for those of you who are interested. Very, very awkward. But still, the helmet that I made for Estelia, I made that in just over a week and a half. That's, that's how long it took me. That nearly made me have a breakdown, because I've never made a helmet before. Hell, I've never really worked with foam much before. So that was a very fast and very steep learning curve. That was me going through making that helmet. Lots of meltdowns, tons of tears, very stressful, do not recommend. But it got made, it got made and I managed to make it. There were still a couple of nightmares the first day of MCM. In the queue, I knocked my bag against my boot and I lost one of the skulls. Oh boy, I was pissed. On the Friday night after the first day of con, I was literally there with the foam at the Stanley knife. I was cutting out a new skull. I was slapping on the first layer of paint, literally going out of my tiny mind. 
The Sunday was better though, the Sunday was much better. I wore a sly for the Saturday because obviously I wanted I wanted to fix Estelia because there were a couple more things that went wrong. I lost I lost a feather in one of the sides of the helmet and I wanted to re-glue things on with the wristbands. So I wore a sly for Saturday, but then on Sunday everything with Estelia was fixed, it stayed, it stayed put. And I also took part in the cosplay masquerade, which here is a shot from it. Oh my days. Let me tell you, from that stage, you can't see any of that lighting. All, the, all those crazy orange lights that were going on there, they asked me what lighting I wanted, and obviously I, I, I hadn't thought that far ahead, so I just went, um, orangey? And that's what they did, they had all those orange lights. But I couldn't see any of that because the lights are just in your face, and it literally just looks like kind of yellowish in front of me. I didn't see anything. I just saw yellow light in my face. But one of my friends filmed it, and or at least filmed part of it and sent it to me. So if you're on my if you're on my Instagram or on my Facebook page, it will be on there. I I put it on there. That's Pixie Poison cosplay. That's on um, on Facebook or Instagram. You can see the full video there. And I have to tell you, it it's it's a it's. <laughs> It's so scary being on that stage, but it is such a rush at the same time. It felt so good, and watching that video back, it it gave me shivers, I won't lie. Made all the tears and meltdowns and everything worth it. Also, another highlight of MCM, two words. Giant Chocobo. Look at that thing! That is amazing and adorable at the same time, and another tidbit, when it opened its mouth, it actually made chocobo noises. It was amazing. I saw that and oh my days, my little mind just went poof. My thought process at that time was just like, must pet, must pet. And I did. And it was amazing. So now for the most important part of the vlog, the MCM swag. What did I buy? The unboxing without the box. Well, maybe, maybe one small box. Now, of course, anyone who knows me, when I go to MCM, there is always one stall that I always look out for, and that is Fuzzballs. They are so cute and so amazing and so relatable. I love them very, very much. Um, it was a big struggle to find out what to buy this time because I have two t-shirts, a necklace, and a pin. So I was like, what can I buy? Well, I actually bought something I needed, which was a new travel pass holder, and da 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 here it is. This is so cute. I absolutely love it. There are so many of the characters on here. It's unreal. I can actually spot some of the things that I have on like my t-shirts and my necklaces. Like that I have on a t-shirt. That, the Meowjical with the unicorn. That's on a pin. Um, on the back here I have this little one with the pizza as a necklace. And the bottom one will work for treats. I have that as a t-shirt as well. So yeah, I actually bought something that was functional because I've needed I've needed a new Oyster card holder for so long because my Hey Arnold one was falling apart. So this was also cute and functional. So yay! As I'm showing these things, peeps, I will leave links to everything that I bought down in the comments. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, the links to the websites are there. Go check them out. Next, on to signings. This was, this was a year where I wasn't too hot on the signings until at the last minute they announced that Troy Baker and Nolan North were going to be arriving. I saw Troy Baker in Manchester, I saw them do Twisted Tunes, him and Nolan North, they were absolutely incredible, hilarious, check them out. If you don't know what Twisted Tunes is, go check it out, it's absolutely hilarious, type it into YouTube, it'll all come up, you won't regret it. But on the Sunday I decided to take the plunge and I got Troy Baker's autograph. Yes, he is this attractive in real life. He is very, very dishy. We actually got to talking a lot about voice acting and how to kind of how to kind of market yourself and whether it's better to have have a wide variety of voices or have just one particular quality that fits you. And I like I like what he signed it with. It just said it says Rowan and it says you are enough because he kind of told me he said if you have a, variety, a wide variety of voices, that's great. But if you have one quality that works for you, yeah, plug that. He said, but overall, just be you. He said, you do you, that's all that matters. So, he says, you are enough. 
that's kind of lovely. Okay, so time for one of the two actual boxes that I have so that we can do an unboxing with. Um, so lately I've been getting back into a lot of D&D and playing a lot of D&D campaigns. I was pretty much a newbie because I haven't played D&D in years, and I mean years, like going back to like college A-level kind of year, so more than 10 years ago since I played, so I was pretty much a noob. But a lot of my work friends um, that I work with now, they do a lot of D&D campaigns and they got me back into it and asked me to join, but because I haven't played it in years, I didn't have my own set of dice, so, dun -dun -dun, my own set of dice. I'm carrying on the blue and purple here, folks, because I don't know if you can see, but they are they are blue and purple and glittery and I'll tell you what, I'll actually get them out for a closer look. I'm gonna try and get this off. Ow! Oh my days! Bloody sharp! Okay. Hi. Dangerous, dangerous boxes, peeps. Watch out for that. Okay. Ooh, D20 is the first one I get out. Yeah. Okay, have a nice little look. There we are. I hope this is picking up on the camera, peeps, because my webcam's a little bit shit, but you can see the purple and the blue sparkly. Really cool. So, obviously, blue and purple. Couldn't resist. I'm going to put this back in very, very carefully so that I don't injure myself. I'm actually really excited to play with these because I'm actually part of two campaigns at the moment. One of them is Out of the Abyss, and one of them was actually just a one-off a one-off campaign that my friend actually made where we were basically the Avengers. I got Hawkeye, obviously, I have a thing for bows and arrows, so I couldn't resist taking that as a weapon, and I actually, <laughs> it's quite funny actually, in the Out of the Abyss campaign I'm doing absolutely rubbish, I'm getting knocked out like every other roll, and every time they roll to decide who the enemies are going to hit, you know who's going to get hit, this silly bitch. Whereas in the other campaign, in the Avengers campaign, I actually roll pretty good. This gal actually got some nat 20s. Very different to the other campaign. So hopefully, now that I have these dice, they're blue and purple, so I'm hoping they might be my lucky colors and I might get some more nat 20s. Now at MCM, there are a lot of stalls that do a lot of jewelry type items, like necklace pendants or earrings, things like that, and rings. Um, they're usually a bit kind of generic. They're either, you know, kind of Disney-fied or they're like, you know, superhero themed rings, you know, or like, medieval type, but there was one stall that actually kind of jumped out at me and it was called The Apothecary and it's by a person called Dragonfly Creative Art. she's got an Etsy shop, link down there, check it out, but she makes all of these. These are like little, um, little necklace pendants and they are potion bottles, so these are the two that I got. This was the first one I got, obviously it jumped out at me because it's blue. Blue is gonna call to this girl. As you can see, it says, Opportunity. That's really cute. I can probably see myself wearing this one quite a lot because it reminds me to grab opportunities when they come up and not be a total wimp, basically. And this was the other one I got, which is Acidic Wit. I mean, come on, as if that's not gonna appeal to me. This one will remind me, I think, that Whatever you can't break down with force, just break them down with your words. Powerful and also hilarious. My next item, the second box for the unboxing part of this video. I'm a gamer so I couldn't resist getting a game from MCM and this time I decided to go with Dark Chronicle. It's described as the spiritual sequel to Dark Cloud but it basically is the sequel. It's set in the same place with the two moons in the sky, it's the same universe, same gameplay mechanics, pretty much same everything except different characters and a different story. So I think it is actually billed as Dark Cloud 2, I think either in America or Japan, one or the other. So it's basically the sequel. I love Dark Cloud so much. I love that game. I love the gameplay. I love the Giorama kind of aspects where you have to basically rebuild the village from scratch, but you also go in and dungeon crawl and that kind of RPG elements was so much fun. So I'm I'm eager to see what this is like because I have never played this. I never got hold of it when it was around originally. Like I I don't think I ever saw it in the game shops that I used to recruit when I was a kid. None of my friends had it, so I never got a chance to play it. So I'm, I'm excited to see what this is going to hold. 
And so, my final item that I got from MCM, I'm wearing it, it's this dress. This dress is a, I think it's a galaxy cake dress it's called, and it is by a company called Cakes with Faces. They make really, really cute t-shirts. Um, I have one of their jumpers, which is Join the Illuminati, but the T is spelled T-E-O, and it says, the elite, the elite Secret Society with biscuits. I also have another t-shirt of theirs, which is, I think it's the Mermaid one, which says under the sea since like whenever, which is really, really cute. But no, this is the Galaxy Cake dress, and it looks pretty much like a typical kind of constellation dress, but if you look a bit closer, have a look at that, Swiss Roll Nebula. Let's hour a bit further up, Fondant Fancy. <laughs> They're all cakes, basically. Every single constellation on here is a cake. They do start repeating after a while, but there's one at the bottom that's like here, it says Sponge of Victoria, and like here on the side, there it is. That's what I'm after. It's like Batons Burgius, which is really fun. I just thought it was super cute. And I've been after a new kind of like summery dress for a while. It was 30 pounds, this dress, but it was super worth it. It is so comfy and they're very, very roomy, especially if you're slightly bigger like me. These are perfect. Literally, this is the 12 to 14 and there is a lot of room at the waist here. It only slightly stretches at the top, but like here, as you can see, there's a load of room. Here, there's a load of room. At the waist, there's a load of room, which is great because this bitch is rack and caboose are packing a hell of a lot of luggage. So yeah, ladies, if you're after a dress, Cakes with Faces, they have a few cute designs. I like this one, there's a few more. Check them out, you won't regret it. Mm, purple goodness. So that is it, peeps. That is all my MCM squag. Squag? That is all my MCM swag. Everything that I bought. I think I'm now fully up to date with you guys. I've filled you in on most of the important things that have happened. So yeah, I think that brings us up to speed. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog as much as I did. It was it was pretty good to be back on camera again, I'm not gonna lie. So guys, I will see you very soon. I have been Pixie Poison. This has been a Pixie vlog and I shall see you guys in the next video. So, peace out, peeps. <laughs>